Hi, I'm your host, Faith, and while with ICEndyMag.com. And as you can see by the lockers, I'm standing here at Bar Ripper High School for tonight, Lamar Campbell presents the 1981 Class Reunion Fundraiser. Stay tuned for the presentation of the Gospel Fest when we return. Hi, I'm back with no other than Dr. Vivian Cook. She is a representative of the class of 1981. How are you doing this evening? Absolutely wonderful. Hey, so Ms. Cook, can you tell us what inspired you all to do maybe somewhat of a gospel fest with Lamar Campbell tonight? Well, as we started planning for our 30th reunion for this year, we honor the Lord and everything that we've been through in our lives. And also, Lamar Campbell is one of our very own alumni for the class of 81. So we uh, talked about it and we said, you know, we're going to start doing Gospel Fest over and over again just to draw the people closer to God and the use of Broad Ripple High School is just an awesome, awesome opportunity for us to actually use our own high school to draw people to the God. That's great. So how's the turnout for you tonight? Turnout is awesome. It's really packed in there. So earlier today when we were talking, you were saying something about Broad Ripple maybe being a part of, of closing or not closing. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Broad Ripple was on, on the list this past year for one of the IPS schools being taken over by a corporation. We want the people to know that Broad Ripple High School, a magnet school for the arts, is really pushing and striving for great grades for their students. And we want everybody to know that we are here to support them and help them get wherever they need to be. We need to put more positive information out there about our high school. Okay, great. So anything else that you want to add tonight? You look very nice today, and it seems like it's, from the sound of it that things are going great. So is there anything else that we can do to help Bar Ripple? Come out to anything that we have available, anything that you hear about as far as the class of 1981 uh, sponsoring or supervising throughout the city of Indianapolis. We just want to make everybody know that we're here to support our school. Well, thank you so much. Okay, there you have it. Bar Ripple needs your support. We're back. I'm standing here with Brian Thompson. Brian, you are a soprano saxophonist extraordinaire. Is that correct? Well, that's what they say. <laughs> yes. I uh, started when I was nine, and I'm still going. I love it. And so you started at nine, and how old are you now? Fourteen. Fourteen years of age. What school do you attend? Uh, Broad Ripple, my home school. Oh, you go here. Okay, great. So you were the opening tonight for the 1980 class of 1981 alumni. How did that make you feel when they called you up and asked you to open for them? Well, I'm always nervous before I go on stage. When I got on the stage, I just felt, you know, ready. You know, I did what I did, and I loved it. I was so excited. You know, I love sharing my music. So what inspired you to play the saxophone? Why that instrument, and maybe why not the drums? Well, I've always loved jazz, like regular jazz. Uh, I got into contemporary jazz at a very young age, and you know, that's when I knew something told me that the saxophone was an instrument for me. And then when I picked it up at nine, I was playing like I never thought I could. So it's a gift. So I take your music as your favorite class? Yes. <laughs> you get an A? Yeah. Okay, great. So what's next for you? Well,. Right now we're just going to work on our next project for next year. I'll be back in the studio. Um, Lord's keeping me busy, so I'll be traveling here and there, you know, so I'm on God's good humor. So when you say project, do you have a CD out already? Uh, yes, I do have a demo CD out. It's called The New Beginning. It's, uh, you know, all original music. So can we purchase that now? You said it's a demo CD. Is it not ready to be purchased? Uh, they are, they are uh, for sale. They're $7.00. Uh, yes, they, they can be purchased. And where can the uh, viewers purchase it at? Uh, from me, online, or uh, more directly from me, but uh, you can also get it online at my website. And what's that information? 
Um, wait, my website is www.briantompsonsaxophonist.webs.com. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. We'll be right back. I'll be all I'm standing here with no other than Brian Reeves and Heart After God. How you doing tonight, Mr. Reeves? Great. Glad to be here this afternoon. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit, how long have you been singing professionally? Wow, uh, professionally is ever since I was age 11, started with TMS Youth Choir. But actually, we just, I started my own ministry in 2006 on March the 5th, and that was our first release of Brian Reeves and Heart After God to the city of Indianapolis. So we started there. Okay, great. So can you tell us a little bit about how a person is selected to be a part of Brian Reeves and Heart After God? Well, it just really comes just, number one, just first just interest. And then from there, we, I kind of select based upon, you know, um, their faithfulness to church, uh, their attendance to church. And then, then we deal with singing. So I want to make sure that everyone in my group has a home base, first of all, and serving in their local church. And then as well as their ability to sing as well as also determine if they're a part of the group. And just chemistry as well to be able to work with one another as well. And how many people are in the group with you right now? Right now it's just three. Okay. Uh, three of my, we are very becoming, becoming very, very close. So we all just kind of really understand each other, understand vocally what needs to be done, what we need to present on stage as well. And you were recently in a contest. Can you tell us more about that contest? Yes, yeah, so excited. Uh, out of 300 submissions, uh, we were selected uh, as a part of the top 10 to one of our uh, songs entitled Awakening that was featured on our debut, pro debut project that uh, just came out about a year ago uh, was selected uh, again out of 300 YouTube submissions where there were selected 10 uh, tend to be a part of a nationally released um, compilation CD called John Murray Presents Untapped and it was released nationally on EMI Gospel and we're so excited because from that 10 they're going to select one to be signed to a record deal to EMI so so excited about that. Yeah, it sounds exciting and do you sing and do you write as well? Oh most definitely God has blessed me to do both out of uh I write all the time, uh, and just and then I'm able to use Heart to God as a platform to showcase that part of me as well. So what's next for you, Mr. Reeves? Well, what's next? We're just kind of waiting. Uh, we're touring. Uh, we'll be in Chicago December the 9th uh, with Jessica Reedy, Kiara Sheard, Amber Bullock, who just won Sunday's Best. And then continually to always uh, pursue opportunities to branch and launch off the ministry. Uh, and then also, we're, again, we're kind of waiting uh, for uh, the selection process for EMI. And hopefully from there, a new record will come. If not, we're going to be uh, scheduled to be releasing a mix CD, which will feature probably five songs, uh, new songs as well and be releasing that in, in conjunction with Awakening as well. Now the songs you have right now, they're on iTunes, uh, where can people purchase your music now? Yes, you can go to Amazon.com, CDBaby.com and also they can visit our website at Brian Reeves and HeartAfterGod.com and HeartAfterGod.org. Great, well, we look forward to hearing you tonight at the Bar Ripple Class of 1981 reunion yes. and thank you so much for your time. I'm your host Faith N.Y. Keep it locked.
Hi, we're back, and I'm here with Elder Keith Jones with New Life Worship Center. How are you doing this evening? Oh, we're doing great. Fantastic. Okay, she just came off the stage, and the choir is called Praise with a Purpose. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. And where did the name derive from? Um, just giving God praise. You know, God has designed us for a purpose, and that purpose was to give Him praise. So basically, that's where it stemmed from. And how long has the group been together? Um, since the church has been in existence, so it's about 10 years, um, but this project, this CD project, was designed just with praise and a purpose. So the group grew really originally from the recording group probably formed uh, the first part of this year. Okay, the first part of this year. Now the songs are original. Um, are you writing those songs? you direct? What is your, um, what do you do with this um, group? My, my primary role is just music director. Um, I do direct the choir. Um, I did not write any of the songs. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Tommy Harris, uh, Minister Landis Archie, uh, Royce Moisley, uh, Jonathan Dunn, uh, the silver writers that were on the project. So you said you have a CD out or a CD that you're going to be releasing soon, which one? No, actually it just came out in March. Uh, we just released, uh, actually just this summer, we did, the, we did the project in March, but it released in July. And what's the name of that CD? Uh, Declare the Works. John, uh, John, uh, Pastor John Ramsey presents Declare the Works, Praise with a Purpose. Okay. All right. Well, we look forward to, the, to that CD. You said it's out now. If you want to purchase it, where can uh, the viewers purchase the CD? Um, you can go to newlifeindy.org um, to purchase it off a of church website. You can go to iTunes. You can go to CD Baby and Amazon.com. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. I'm Faith and Wild, and we'll be right back. Come on, let's say it again. I don't need another Mr. Lamar Campbell, what a praise performance that was put on tonight. <laughs> so you played two roles tonight, right? Well, yeah, it was a couple of roles. It, um, one was that, um, you know, we put the event on and it was, the, what, the reason why we do this is because we just want to spotlight people in Indianapolis that really have it going on and we're trying to make sure that our community acknowledges that and they come out and support it so um you know each time we do this it's our mission to make sure that we just grab a few more people that that understand what our mission is because we have a lot of rich talent here and we just want people to really recognize that and we're getting them ready and um for the world you know so um god has blessed me to do a number of things um outside of uh, our own city and stuff and I just want to see some more I just feel like our city is ripe for that to happen again okay so you use the showcase tonight with the uh, class of 81 here at Bar Ripple and it's no secret that you're the class of 81 yeah. uh, look you just get <laughs> Okay, she okay. going. Okay, so she what going class? In. Okay, she going in. Okay, so what class? 85, but, 85, but, 86, 87. Okay, let me let me explain this really, and I don't say this around the class of eighty one. Okay. But I'm really the class of eighty two. Oh. But um. Secret classic. Yeah. I see any mag .com. Yes. So I don't say that around them, but I'm really class of eighty two. I graduated in my junior year. Oh, you came out early. Yeah, I came out early, okay. but I don't say it because they were so nice to embrace me and, you know, take me under their wings. I graduated my sister, so a lot of them don't even know my name. They know that's Sherry Campbell's brother. No. Yeah, so when you th that great, they don't call you by your name. Oh, that's, you know, Sherry Campbell's. That's Janetta's brother. So, yeah. Okay, so, what, so what's new for you, Mr. Campbell? Well, um, the sky is opening. Um, we have just um, recorded several songs. We've mastered a couple of them. Do a roll here. Thank you, because I'm still sweating from the concert. <laughs> and God really showed himself up yeah, strong. Um, all the artists were incredible. But um, we just finished we, uh, in Nashville. Uh, we ma uh, mixed uh, two of the new songs that are going to be singles. And we're preparing for a release of those. And uh, we're working on a record deal. We got a couple of things brewing. So sometime the beginning of next year, 
you know, you should be able to look for a release that has opened the sky on it and from my heart and the, um, a lot of other songs we've been doing. Like, I think we did Praise You Now tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was cool tonight doing some of those old songs, like All About the Love of Jesus. Yes, and, yes, I was going to talk about that. that. was my favorite. And uh, uh, Closer, Denise Clark. We haven't sung with her in so long, but she killed us tonight, didn't she? Yes, she did. Yes, she mm. did. Killed us dead. <laughs> Now, most of the songs that uh, you are singing, are you writing those and composing them, or is somebody doing it for you? Bray's got, um, I write most of the music, and this, on this record, I've been doing some collabs with Jeffrey Thomas, and uh, we've really been working on this record for over a year. So we started with the writing process, and we, we're tweaking the songs, we've gone through a process where we're, we've done little small concerts, places, where we uh, test them out to see whether people like them or not and that kind of thing. So, I mean, we're really taking our time with this project, and I really believe God is going to do something really spectacular with it. Well, since you're so gracious with being big on other talent here in Indianapolis, can people get in contact with you, um, some of the viewers that are watching now, if they think that they got it, the it factor? The it factor, not the X factor. We the ain't doing nothing. The factor. But you know, X is not a bad thing. Everybody should be an X something. Yeah, but we'll, we'll call it the X. It, it, it factor, because yes. X factor, that's already been taken. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, um, if you'd like to get in contact with me, a lot of people, a lot of artists or musical people are on Facebook. So um, if you go to my Facebook page, the M. Lamar Campbell page, um, there are several, but that's that's one you can really reach me on. So, um, and then I'm, I, I have a website, but it's not really up, but it's just LamarCampbell.com. Everything's Lamar Campbell, so that's easy to remember. Yeah, and my email is Lamar Campbell at AOL. So, yeah, if, um, I'm always open and looking for new singers and new songwriters and new talent because um, you never know when um, somebody took the time to listen to me and hear me and think that I had something special and they identified it. So every artist out there, if, if you think you have something special, just go ahead and put yourself out there because you never know when you're going to hook up with the, be a part of your destiny to where you're going. So. Um, sometimes we we kind of feel like, oh, I don't want to walk up to them and say nothing. We do it anyway. Do it. And sometimes you'll get a cold shoulder, and then sometimes it's the person that you're really supposed to connect with. So, you know, that's a part of what we do. Mm, I smell a talent show or something coming up. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, okay. So is there anything else that you want to say to the class of uh, 81 and 82 in honor of tonight's celebration? Well, we're going to talk to the class of 81. Uh, thank, I would really like to thank them for partnering with us to be able to do this Lamar Campbell um, Presents Series 2 uh, tonight. So we got two under our belt. We're getting ready for three. And um, I, I really love the class, and I thank them for all of their support. And, of course, I got to send shouts out to class of 82 that were in the building, and they were, they, we've been hanging out for the last couple of months so this is this is like a big deal for us so thank you for um sharing this with us okay well, we appreciate your time it was awesome awesome tonight i'm your host faith and wild with icindymag.com your social media we're just one click away hey what do we got to do to take this over <laughs> <laughs>